Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting Lesson. In this video, we will be going over a rate of change analysis, also known as a horizontal analysis for a balance sheet. Now keep in mind when we're doing a horizontal analysis, we are going from left to right. So our focus will be on finding the increase or decrease between one year to another. Keep in mind, this is 20X1, so this is my prior year. 20x2, this is my current year. So for example, for cash, we see that it decreased. Right? So when we're doing a horizontal analysis, the first focus is on finding the amount of the increase or decrease. <clears throat> so in our case, we already said it was a $10,000 decrease. Let's go ahead and put that into a formula. So our current year minus our prior year. So that will give us the negative 10,000. And then we will divide that amount by our base year. So that will tell us what percentage increase or decrease we have. Divided by our base year. Let's turn that into a percentage. There you go. So we can see that during this year for this particular company on their balance sheet, there was a 6.25 decrease in cash. Now for the uh, horizontal analysis, this is going to stay the same for every line item. So we can really just take this and drag it all the way down. I have a little, I have a little bit more down here. There we go. So now it's simply telling us all of the increases and decreases that this company experienced during the period. So for example, we see some zeros, so we will just want to check those, make sure they're correct. Uh, the reason for our zeros is because we had no change during the period. See? Um, we also see that, for example, accounts payable here decreased by 33.33%, pretty significant there. Uh, but then our long-term liabilities went up by 7%. So perhaps we took out some money to pay off a few of our liabilities there. So actually pretty interesting on what um, what we're seeing here. We're also seeing a current portion of our debt is coming due this year. So there's a significant increase there. But remember, as always, whenever you are doing a um, any type of horizontal analysis, be very aware of any significant increases and decreases. Keep an eye out for parentheses and negatives. I go over that a lot in the rate of change analysis video for an income statement. We need to be aware of those. And then also be aware of your zeros. Um, sometimes it can be, um, if we leave zeros in the way they are, uh, we're not really communicating what happened. So for example, here, <clears throat> if we put a zero, so let's say we ended December 31st with no PPE, but then we had 5.6 million. Uh, we get a little error message here. So if we did have a scenario like this, we could go ahead and say see notes, and our note would simply explain why uh, we can't put that number in there. The number in this case would be we didn't have any, we purchased 5.6 million in PPE during the year. So uh, keep in mind, uh, I am going to upload videos for the rate of change analysis for the income statement, also a common size analysis, also known as a vertical analysis for the income statement and balance sheet as well. So keep an eye out for those. I will link to those in the description. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And until next time, happy studying. Great work.